Ah, praise Him. Thank you, Jesus, all day. I'll praise Him. Bless His name. All day. Hallelujah. I'll praise Him. All day. I'll praise Him. Thank you, Jesus. All day. I'll praise Him, bless His name. Thank God, yes, Lord, for oh, Jesus. Thank God, yes. we thank God for Jesus. Thank you, Lord, thank God. For Jesus, let his name thank God. For Jesus, thank God. For Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. My soul does magnify the Lord because he has done great and mighty things. He has done wonderful things. And we're glad about it. We appreciate God for the things that he's doing and that he's going to do. Hallelujah. You must have an expectation that your expectation must exceed the expectation of the scribes and the Pharisees. Did you know that there were scribes and Pharisees still around? Hallelujah. Don't be found in that area. Don't be wanted. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. I want those who are going to be on the program tonight to be ready for the scripture. Anna Hatcher and the welcome. Dana. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God tonight. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you.
life. If the Lord says, God bless you, hallelujah, brother. Hey, man, we thank God for the mother of the church. Let's go. If you have a life, give us the worship. Say, amen. At this time, we're going to have uh, our scripture read, read by Missionary Anna Hatcher, followed by the welcome by Missionary Dana Benton. And we can just stay on down here. I believe um, Josie has the mic on. Saints of God, we're going to get ready for the praise team after they finish to come with one selection. So I want the praise team to be in order. Come on up and get ready. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because we want to put the man of God up, but we want to hear what the Lord has to say to us again tonight. Glory to God. Saints, while you're standing on your feet for the reading of God's word, we'll be coming from 2 Peter, the third chapter. If you want to read along with me, I'll be reading 2 Peter, the third chapter. Starting at verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found in him in peace, without spot and blameless. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Amen. 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 Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise
stay right here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's nothing like worship. Hallelujah. You may be seated. If you can. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord tonight. First of all, we bless God for God. Being in our midst, we thank Him for what He has done in night number one. How many was here last night? Did we have church? <laughs> Lord move. And uh, when I, I was telling Pastor Cundiff, I said, uh, he says, I'm looking for God to take us higher tonight. Yes. And that was what, when I got home last night, um, got in my house and that's what I heard in my spirit. Every round goes higher and higher. Yes. <laughs> I'm expecting God to do something else, something else tonight. Yes. Amen. So we want to honor our uh, ministerial staff that is here. Amen. We have some people out tonight and, uh, but they're watching. Amen. There's this bug going around. Amen. Please dress warm. Cover yourself. Uh, drink plenty of fluids. Amen. If you think like me, I do not like to get sick. Amen. I got too much to do. <laughs> I got too much to do. That's right. Amen. And uh, I'm not one that like to stay in bed. Oh, I got to get up. My body is different. If I'm up moving around, it, it, it gives my body strength to fight off whatever it is that's trying to attack me. Amen. And so we thank the Lord for that. We honor your ministerial staff. We honor your your deacons, your men and women, we are all our men and women of God, and, and it's good to see the uh, Templeites uh, come out night number two. Amen. So we're grateful. And to some of you that wasn't here last night, welcome tonight. Welcome tonight. I see some faces. Amen. It's so good to see you. Amen. I may not know you, but I know you now. Amen. Amen. We are among each other. We are all our Father's children. And we are forever grateful. Well, I'm not going to prolong the time tonight. Like I said, I could have stayed right there. I was on my way to the floor. All right. Amen. Amen. I don't mind worshiping the Lord. Amen. I don't care how high God take me. I don't want to ever get too big where I can't worship the Lord. That's right. Amen. That's right. I don't want to be blessed with anything that would keep me from worshiping the Lord. That's right. That's Amen. Right. I should have got more help than that. That's right. I guess we ain't totally yet. Amen. Amen. Missionary Damon, you ready? All right. So we thank the Lord. She did a good job last night. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we, um, you were recommended, by the way. <laughs> you were recommended. We have to put the Two teenagers on the front row tonight. Amen. 
tell them they can behave. Praise the Lord. We had to sit the two teenagers on the front. We keep our eyes on them. That was his idea too. They left me up here. But I want to somebody shout part two. Part two. Of last night we started talking about totally committed. And how many was blessed by yeah. Missionary Damon, if you could go to Psalms 37, those of you that uh, you have your Bibles, your iPads, or whatever you use, Psalms 37, verse five, verses 5 through 7, the 37th division of Psalms. Verses 5 through 7. We're going to talk about the other part tonight. We dealt with totally, but that's as far as we got. But we're going to deal with committed, and we're going to bring this thing together. Is that all right? Amen. Psalms 37 and verses 5 through 7. Do your thing. Commit thy way mm -hmm. unto the Lord. Yes. Trust also in him. Uh -huh. And he shall bring it to pass. Uh -huh. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light. Yes. And thy judgment as the noonday. Mm -hmm. Rest in the Lord mm -hmm. and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself. Because of him who prospered in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Right. My, my, my. <laughs> my, my. Verse 5 says what now? Commit thy way Commit. unto the Lord. Commit thy way. Your way. My way. Unto the Lord. Yeah. That word commit there is it has a, a vast or variety of definitions, and it all depends on what you are committed to and what you are uh, and who you are committed to. But one of the definitions is to carry out or perpetrate a mistake or a crime or an immoral act. Commit also means to pledge or to bind. It means to be dedicated to something. That's the one we want. Um, and, and, and it also means, y'all know I'm a word guy, right? It means to be devoted. It means to be loyal. It means to be dedicated, faithful, firm, uh -oh, steadfast. Yes, sir. It means to be resolute, unwavering. Sincere, uh oh, wholehearted. Glory be to God. It means to be passionate. It means to be fervent. It means to be motivated. So, commit that way unto the Lord so that you and I can be loyal. Dedicated, yes, sir. faithful, steadfast, firm, resolute. You know, I like that word resolute 
Because resolute just simply means I've settled it in my mind. I'm persuaded. Paul said it like this. I am persuaded that neither death nor life <laughs> no angels, no powers, no height, no depth, no any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God. And so we have to be committed. We have to commit our way unto the Lord. Yes, sir. What, what, what does it say after that, missionary? Trust also in him. Trust also in him. Commit thy way unto the Lord. And then you got the trust also in him. You got to commit and trust. You got to commit and you got to trust. You got to commit unto him and then you got to trust him. That's right. That's right. You got to commit your way and then you got to trust him. You got to commit your way and then you got to trust that he knows what's best for you. You got to commit your way and you can't doubt. You can't, you can't second guess. You can't waver. You have to totally, totally trust God. No what comes and goes, no matter what happens, no matter what you got to go through, I trust God. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I trust God. Yes, sir. I trust Him. Glory to God. I trust Him. Thank you, Jesus. You can't make me doubt it. That's right. I know too much. That's right. I done seen too much. That's right. I done experienced too much. He done healed me too many times. He done made too many ways. He done opened too many doors. He, he, he done kept me from too many dangers seen and unseen. I have a resolute in my spirit. I'm not looking for another God. He's all I need. Hallelujah. There is no other God. There is no other name that is given among heavens and that's given among men whereby men can be saved but at the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every knee. Yes, Every knee yes, has got to bow. Yes, Every tongue has got to confess what? That Jesus Christ is Lord. He's Lord. He's Lord. He's Lord. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. There's nobody like him. There's nobody like him. There's nobody in his class. He's in a class all by himself. I have a resolute in my soul. I have a conviction. I believe God. Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Doesn't matter what the diagnosis is. Doesn't matter what it seems like. Doesn't matter what I feel like. I believe God. Yes, sir. Do anybody believe him like me? I said, do anybody believe God like me? I don't care what they say. I don't care what the devil told you. I don't care what the other family members had. God is a healer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all sit down. We just talking. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes. I gotta let that go. I feel power here. I said he's a healer. Somebody needed to hear that. Somebody right in this room needed to hear and be reminded that our God is a healer. I don't know what the problem was, but it just shifted because he is a healer. I didn't come to do nothing else. I came to make an announcement tonight. God is 
a healer. God is a healer. God is a healer. He's a healer. Why don't you just tell the person next to you and say, hey neighbor, hey neighbor, our God is a healer.
because God is waiting on us to get in right stand. Sometimes, sometimes the blessing can be right nigh you. It can be right there at you. It can be nigh you. And God said, I'm just waiting on you to get in right stand. And sometimes it can just be one good step to the right. All right, Apostle. It can be an about face because you're going in the wrong direction. Come on, sir. Say it. Go ahead. Read one to God. At thy judgment as the new day. Uh huh. Rest in the Lord. There it is. Lord. There it is. Rest where? In the Lord. Lord. In the Lord. Yeah. Have you been resting in the Lord? Oh my. Lately? What's disturbing your rest? You're sleeping, but are you resting? Come on, now. Come on, sir. I can't get no help. Your eyes are closed, but are you resting? You're up under the cover, and your head is laying on the pillow, but are you resting? Come on now. The Bible said, rest where? In the Lord. In the Lord. So there is a place in God. That is only for resting. See, God is so big, he got all kinds of, okay. <laughs> See, y'all, that's sad. God is so big, he got all kinds of compartments within himself. And so there's a certain area of God that is strictly for resting. And so God, God wants to bring us into a place in himself that is for resting. Lord have mercy. Are y'all hearing what I'm telling you? There is a place that you can get in God that chaos can be all around you. But it, it, it will not affect you. Why? Because you are resting in the Lord. In the Lord. Did you not hear what they said? Layoffs are coming. What do you expect me to do? Act like you? I'm resting. Anything that happens around me doesn't necessarily mean it has to be for me. I can't get much help in here tonight. I said, I said, everything that is possibly happening, everything that is happening around you, doesn't necessarily have to be for you. You got to know who you are in Him. It, 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 is, it, is, it, is, it is important that you know who you are in Him. And watch this, you got to know and what you mean to Him. That's good preaching. I said, you got to know what you mean to him. You got to know, do you mean something to God? And if you mean something to God, God is going to take care of you. He's going to provide for you. He's going to protect you. He's going to sustain you. Rest in the Lord. Y'all with me? Y'all with me so far? Rest in the Lord. Go ahead, Mrs. Harris. And wait patiently. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is what we need. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm glad you shouted. Now we got to administer the shot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why would he put rest first and then instruct us to wait patiently? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that seems like that don't go together. Could it be that you can't rest? It's because you refuse to wait patiently. All right. Yeah. <laughs> See that all right. 
I mean, I mean, truly, 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 when a person is impatient, they're not at risk. When you are being anxious, and the Bible said, be anxious for nothing. But in prayer, make your supplication known. See, could it be that we not praying? We're not allowing, uh oh, I'm getting into some hard man. We're not allowing the will of God to be in control. See, what happened to all that shouting? I mean, we almost, we almost made five mountain, fry some old chicken. <laughs> there was so much power here about seven minutes ago. We made them drop some more chicken. But now we are talking about waiting, waiting, waiting. I don't like to wait. Why do I have to wait? I am a chosen child. I am God's child. I supposed to be moved to the front of the line. Favor is my name. He promised me. He told me. God said, Why am I at the back of the line? Jesus. Why is the wicked prospering and I'm still where I was two years ago? Fret not thyself because of evil doing. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. This is a sidebar. He told me to tell you this. But they shall soon be cut down like the grass and weather as the green earth. Come on, work. trust in the Lord and do good. Yes, sir. Come on. I had to deliver that mail to her. I'm back now. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't fret. Don't you fret. Don't you fret. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to God. Missionary, what does it say? Start start at the uh start talking about rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. Uh-huh. And wait patiently wait. for the Lord. Rest in the Lord and wait. Wait. Amen. Woo! Wait. Wait. Now last night, the enemy, the Lord told us. That the enemy is after our always. Right. That's right. Yeah. He wants us to stop about it. Yeah. The Lord told us, He said, the enemy wants to get you out of me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Always about it. In the work of the Lord. Yeah. 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 The enemy wants us to stop working for the Lord. And then the tonight, part two, God is telling us, wait patiently. Rest in me. Get somewhere and sit down. Oh, Y'all don't like my preaching. Y'all don't like my preaching. Get somewhere and sit down. Get somewhere and stop telling everybody everything. Learn how to hold your peace. That's strong preaching there. Who are you talking to? Who are you telling to sit down? The word is telling you to sit down. Rest and be patient. Now watch this. If God don't do it for you, what you in the anxious to go to anyway? Right. If the Lord don't open up the door, where you running to? Right. If the Lord is not the one making a way, which way are you going? Which way? Come 
know the kids, they don't like that kind of phrase. All right. Hallelujah. He said, rest in the Lord. Get somewhere. Sit down. And sit down. Oh man, this is all right. <laughs> this is all right. And, 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 and I'm sitting down cause he's, cause, because he told us to rest. Yeah, that's right. mm -hmm. Rest. Thank you. I'll be back to get you in a minute, missionary. But, but, but rest. She's ready to read, but right now she's getting a rest. Look at y'all. Y'all sitting there smiling and looking at me, and I'm looking at you, and we all rest. <laughs> See, y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Please don't miss what he's telling you to do. Don't miss it. 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 Oh, I'm right in the Holy Ghost. He's using me up tonight. Rest. Rest. Come on, shout that with me. Rest. Sound good to say that, don't no. Hallelujah. And, and some of your body is like, what is that? All right. I haven't done it in so long. What is that? This is what we need. It's time for us to enjoy the rest of the Lord. What is it about? What, what is this? What is this? What is this? That we are wasting time preaching about depression. All right. We try to minister to people who are bound by depression. You don't minister to them in depression. You command depression to leave them. It's your mind. That's so true. 
so true. That is where rest is. So this is what God is saying. Let your mind rest in me. Wait a minute. So when you get up the next morning, let this mind be in you. Yes, sir. Good God. Which was also in Christ Jesus. Y'all ain't hear what I'm telling you. I said, when you rest in the Lord, God will renew your strength. And when you get up, you will get up with some new strength. And you will get up to new mercies. Okay. All right. Rest in the Lord. Come on. And wait patiently for him. And wait what? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Patiently. Patiently. For him. For him. Stop all that, Lord, how long? Come on now. Mm. Uh oh, wait a minute. I'm taking all of y'all crutches away. And stuff that we thought that we could get away with saying is really not faith. Lord, how long? Do you forget who you're talking to? See, y'all not hear what I'm saying. Y'all not hear what I'm saying. Do you forget that you're talking to sovereign God? Do, 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 how soon do we forget? We're talking to a God that knows all things. He knows the number of hairs on your head. He knows how many pebbles that are on the beach? He 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 knows the number of stars. That's what he told Joe. Where were you? Where were you? When I put the stars in space. Where were you when I created the beach? Y'all ain't said. Where were you? And he had to remind Joe, I got this. I got this. And I got you. All you need to do is all of your appointed time. Wait till your change comes. Don't you be slave. Yet will I trust you. See all the shouting? You see all the shouting? When I got to the waiting patiently, all that shouting. But as long as the mailman is coming, the FedEx truck is around the corner. All right, I come on a little bit. Yeah. Oh Lord. But when, but when the Lord sent a word to say, wait patiently. All right. All right. Wrong house. My God. I'm coming on in. Y'all, y'all don't like this kind of TV. This is what I do. This is what I do. Y'all don't like this kind of TV. Wait patiently for him. Uh-huh. Fret not thyself. Fret not yourself. It's, it's the self part of you that's getting anxious. It's flesh here. Yep. Oh, I studied. Don't worry about it. I'm talking right from the throne of God. Praise the Lord. Watch this. Fret not thyself. Self, stop fretting. That's what the book is saying. Talk to yourself mm -hmm. when yourself is trying to talk you out of the wheel. My Lord. When self is trying to get you to move hastily, to not be patient, That's right. not wanting to wait. That's right. Self, don't you fret. Don't fret. 
That's the battle. Because you're seeing everybody else getting blessed. You're seeing everybody else getting promoted. What about me? What about me? Lord, I've been faithful. Lord, I've been dedicated. Listen, I'm quiet here. Lord, I pay my time. Lord, I give. Lord, I, Lord, I do. Lord, I love everybody. <laughs> Even people that don't like me. Lord, 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 Lord. I do so much that I'm tired of doing it. <laughs> and the more I do, the more they ask. Jesus. Do they not see me tired? Do they not see I, it's just one of me? Do they not think I need a break? Uh-oh. Come on, preacher. See, I didn't come for everybody because some folk got it all together. I only came for the real folk. I told you, I didn't come for deep and spiritual people. Matter of fact, they could have stayed at the house. Come on. Because if we come to get something from God, and if you really need something from God, why sit in here and act like you don't need nothing? Your neighbor needs something. You blocking the you blocking the frequency. I mean, I, I, I'm picking up something, so every now and then I gotta stop and address a thing, cause ain't nothing gonna hinder this flow. You understand what I'm saying? No. Ain't nothing gonna hinder this. Watch this, friend. I got here. These people, I tell you one thing. They always call me. <laughs> you, you know, see the call I need, Jesus. <laughs> what in the world do they want now? <laughs> Lord forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> Help us, Help us. I say it too. It ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Guilty. Pray for me. What? Okay. Maybe I'm just the only one. Friend, like I said. Because of him who prospered in his way. See? In his way. See? 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 So we see that all prosperity is not of God. Right. Wow. Amen. Fret not thyself from who? Because of him who prospereth in his way. In his way. Yes, sir. His way. Whatever they do doing, it seems like it's working for them. And it looks like they prosper. But the Bible said, don't fret. Don't focus on what they're doing. That's right. You rest and That's you continue to wait patiently until I come for you. Let, let, me, let me open up that door for you. Come on, preacher. Let me make the way. Matter, matter, as a matter of fact, Jesus said, I am the way. The truth and the life. No man comes to, up to the Father but by me. What's the word? I got some help over there. That's the word. Y'all can't see her, but she's talking over there. <laughs> now, Jesus said, I want to be your way. Don't fret because it looks like they're prospering in his or her way. I'm your way. Yes, he you know what I'm hearing right now? And, and, and I'm going to let you read a little more. You know what I'm hearing right now? You know what I mean? Moses said, who shall I say sent me? Because they're going to ask. Somebody going to ask. Somebody going to want to know who is Moses. 
Y'all better come get me, because I'm getting happy. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Moses said, who shall I say sent me? When I go talk to Pharaoh, what you want me to say? God said, this is what you need to tell. Tell them, tell him, I am sent you. Isn't that, isn't that something? That he announced himself in the Old Testament to Moses, I am. And then in the New Testament, Jesus said, I am. Not used to be, I am. I'm the same one that parted the Red Sea. I am. Do you have another sea that needs to be parted? I am. I am. Okay. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, visionary. Because of a man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Yes, sir. That's the last part. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's bring this plan in. Wait. Don't fret when you see others prospering yes. in their way. I want you to be committed. committed. Yes. I don't want you committed to be influenced by people that are not. Okay, I'm going to say it again. Please. I don't want your commitment to be influenced by people that are not. Amen. I don't want your commitment to be influenced by people that are not committed to God. I'm going to say something. I got to say it because I'm called to say what the Lord tells me to say. People will be more committed to man and not be committed to God. And a lot of times, man will reward you with favoritism. That's right. That's right. But it is not favor. That's right. Okay. Favor, F A V O R, comes from God. Favor, F A B O U R, that, that produces favoritism comes from man. And man can give you favoritism and God's favor not be in that. Because God still requires holiness. All right. Righteousness. He still requires. We don't hear it preach much no more, but he still requires sanctification. Still. Yes, sir. He still requires for us to be holy. First Peter 1 16 said, because it is written, be ye holy. God said, for I. I don't care what gospel they come out with. That's right. I don't care what inclusion says. That's right. I don't care what all the bishops and all of those big names that is following in the footsteps of the culture of Pearson. Help us, Jesus. Jesus is the same today yes, sir. as he was yesterday. Yes, sir. Now, you, you must understand, I'm not afraid to call names because they put the stuff out there. It's, it's all out in the media. That's right. It's all out there. You, you, you ain't got nothing. I mean, you know, they walking it out. It's all out there. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell you to walk it out. He told you to walk by faith. He didn't tell you to dance and turn the church into a club. That's right. 
Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's not what he said. He said, be different. Be different. He said, you are my bride. I'm coming back for a bride. I'm coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle or blemish or any such thing. That's what he said. He's not, he's not coming back for a worldly woman. That's right. I preached that one time. Y'all remember that? Amen. He ain't coming back for no worldly woman. He coming back for a holy woman. Yeah, holy. Holy. He coming back for a holy woman. A woman that's pure. And the Bible said Jesus is the one that's going to adorn her. Wait a minute. It's not going to be no way. Jesus is the way to plan. Y'all not hear what I'm saying. Jesus is going to be the one that's going to look her up and down before he walk her down the aisle. And Jesus don't mind telling his bride, go change. See, y'all ain't saying nothing. I believe we're living in the day where Jesus is telling the church, go change. My God. Take that off. Go change. Stop doing that. Put that away. Come here out from among them. Go change. See, I'm quiet. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Jesus said, I'm going to be the one to adorn her. I'm going to be the one that put the gown on the bride. I'm the one that's going to put the veil on. Boy, that's powerful. I mean, he break all tradition. Because they say, the, the groom don't supposed to see the bride before the wedding. Then you tell Jesus that. <laughs> tell Jesus that. See, don't he tell you to go somewhere and rest? <laughs> Come on, Austin. <laughs> Come on, Austin, and finish this. <laughs> See, he's, 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 he's telling us, you're right there at it. You're right at it. Come on. The blessing is right there, not you. Not yet. Mm. Don't grow weary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stay committed. Be totally, one hundred percent, yes, sir. Wholehearted. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Don't stop being faithful. Yes. Don't stop being dedicated. Yes. Be firm in your faith. Yes. Don't waver in your faith. Yes. Don't waver in your testimony. Yes. Don't give up your conviction. Learn how to rest. Yes. And learn how to wait patiently. Yes, yes, yes. I don't want to miss my turn. I don't, I don't want to miss it. 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 And another thing. Watch out for familiar spirits while you're in a place of rest. Come on, Come on. Watch out for people that's all, all of a sudden got a word for you. Yes, sir. God told me to tell you, now is the time. Go get it. Uh oh. You must know the voice of God for yourself. For yourself. That's right. And He wants you to know His voice. Because he's a good father. Yes, he is. Yes. Yes. He wants his children to know him. Boy, yes. God don't want us to be scared of him. Right. Come unto me. 
if you lay, if you are if you are heavy laden, come to your father. Thank you. Tell him. Lord, I'm weary. I, I'm, I'm, I'm worn out. I'm tired. Tell your father. And once you tell him, guess what he's going to tell you in response? Come on and rest in me. Come in. Thank you, Come and crawl up in my arm. <laughs> See, y'all been saying that. Come on and crawl up in my arm. What's troubling you? What's, what's, what's bothering you? What's, what's your concern? Watch this. Nehemiah, what, what, what's, burning, what's burning in you? I want to build a wall. I want to rebuild the wall. My heart is for the wall. I want to build a wall. I know, I know, I'm, I know I'm a cup bearer, but I've been faithful being a cup bearer. And the Lord didn't allow me to die. That's right. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. So that means he got something, something for me to do. Yes. Hallelujah. See, death can't take you because you're not done. Yes. Come on, I wish I had some help. I, I, I got to go, y'all. I got to let you know. Because we're we going we to jam tomorrow night. But, 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 but death can't take you because you're not done. God is the one that punches the clock for us. All right. That's right. You ain't leaving till he says so. So tell the devil he's a liar. You're not going to die early. That ain't going to take me out. I heard what they said, but it ain't time for me to go. It ain't time yet. Thank you, Doc, but you don't have the last name. That's right. <laughs> See, y'all been saying that. Yeah, be, be thankful for doctors. Because doctors is what lets us know what's wrong. So now we know what to pray for. See, we have a different, we have a different response. See, we have a different style. The doctor said, well, this is what I see. Well, thank you, doc. Now, 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 let me take what you saw into the prayer room. And I'll, and, 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 and I'll be Bach. <laughs> and when I come back, after God get through doing his thing, tell me what you see. See, 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 see the Lord see, see all of this is prophetic ladies and gentlemen somebody is going to go back to the doctor and they're not going to see what they saw But when you go back, they ain't gonna see it. It's gone. Thank you, Jesus. I said it's gone. See, I told you, we believe God. There's a resolute. It's gone. I don't know what it was, but it's gone. I said I don't know what it was, but it's gone. And I can't wait till you come back and tell us about it. And if they come back and we ain't here, call me. See, when you hear from God, you ain't got to run and hide. That's right. See, y'all ain't saying that. It's only the false ones that tuck, tuck and, and run and hide. Right. I know what I heard. It's gone. Mother, mother, why may stand up? Stand up, mother. You see mother right there? Mother, God heal her of cancer. Hallelujah! Oh! Vangelis Powell, stand up. Thank 
they've been, they've been trying to give it to her. And every time she goes to the doctor, they can't, they say we can't find nothing. Thank you for 
Lord blessing her to see 50 years old. You brought her from a long way. Take your father, God. You never left her nor forsook her. You touched her many times. And God, I pray that the blessing of the Lord will continue to make her rich and add it no sorrow. Provide everything she needs. Don't let her want for nothing. Let there be no lack in her life. We rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for doing it. It's so right now. In Jesus' name. Yeah, that's it. Let's tell them that. Just tell them. Somebody praise God with him. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise him. That's it. Praise him, sister. Hallelujah. Oh. Come on, come on. I need praise. Hallelujah. 
time. Your prayers were not in vain. Your prayers was not in vain. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Give him glory. Give him glory. 